Tokyo, my dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I hope you are all having a really nice day today. So, for those of us who are Criterion Collection fans, this is the time of year, which is the Barnes and Noble Criterion Collection sale. So now it's the end of June 2019. So this will be going on throughout the month of July. So for those of you who are able to participate in this Criterion Collection sale, good for you and well done. And please have fun, enjoy yourself because uh, this is a really great time. And I'm so happy to hear what it is you are going to watch and going to purchase and plan to purchase. So uh, please feel free at any time to share with me your comments about what you've gotten or what you're going to get. I've already received so many comments already of people telling me what they're getting and it's just so great to hear. So thank you very much for that. So with that in mind, my friends, what I'd like to do is I'd like to talk about some other items in the Criterion Collection that might be worth considering for those of you who are interested in making some purchases during this sale time. Now, I must say from the outset that I don't know exactly if these uh, items that I'm about to show are indeed subject to the sale. I know Barnes & Noble has some items that aren't subject to the 50% off sale. So just before, just in case, be sure to check on the site or with a Barnes & Noble uh, representative at a store about whether or not these items are indeed 50% off. They, they, hopefully they are, So, but just double check just to be sure. So, Anyway, here are some items that might be worth considering. Now, the Criterion Collection is known, I think, for a lot of its grand releases. It has a lot of so-called box set releases. And these are sets of maybe more than one film that is usually housed in some kind of physical media casing box that's made of cardboard or sometimes plastic or sometimes a digipack presentation. Uh, but it's usually a collection of more than one film. And so the Criterion Collection has a lot of these box sets. And some of them are bigger than others. And... Uh, so what I'll do is let me just show a couple of the more gargantuan ones and uh, because these tend to be I think on the pricier sides of things and so if one can take advantage of the Barnes & Noble sale in purchasing these I think that's a very advantageous position to find oneself in so in any event my friends these are just a few of the huge box sets that we have seen by Criterion over the years and so uh, they're not everything this is not a comprehensive thing but this is something that I think um, you might be able to try to get your hands on if indeed you are interested in these films now the first set is this set which is the Zatoichi the blind swordsman now this whole set is spy number 679 but the films themselves are not spine numbered. Now, if we go inside here, now this is the dual format edition. So it's a little bit bulkier than I think the current Blu-ray only release of this. Um, but this is a significant, very significant release because it has uh, 25 Right, 25 of the Zatoichi films, uh, Katsu, Shintaro Katsu, Zatoichi films. And oh boy, if you are looking for a kind of thrilling, fun entertainment that can go wild and in a good way, off the rails uh, sometimes, really quite something. So this set, I understand, is not inexpensive and so it might be a, an opportune time to consider getting the set if you're interested in the Zatoichi films to get the set um, in during the sale now again I should emphasize that this set that I have here in front of you is the dual format release so it looks a little bit bulkier than the current blu-ray release so you've got the discs housed like so um, but uh, what I would uh, I think the Blu-ray set is still not 
uh, insignificant in terms of the amount, the retail price. And so if you're interested in the Zatoichi films, yes, this is probably a great time to uh, get the set if you're able to participate in the Criterion sale at Barnes & Noble. These films are thrilling. They are fun. Some, I think, are really bona fide classics. I know uh, these films have been talked about by uh, other friends of this channel, and I know people are planning to talk about them. So, and I know many Asian film or uh, Japanese film uh, experts know these series very well. And so this is quite a, uh, a mammoth set. Uh, and uh, I'm a, a big fan of Zatoichi. I love Zatoichi films. And one of these days, perhaps, I'd love to talk about the Zatoichi films one at, one at a time. But um, in any event, my friends, if you're interested in the set, Again, the Zatoichi box set. Uh, this is spine number 679, and that refers to the entirety of the films that are included in the set, so for your consideration. Next, this is spine number 900. Yes, here we go. The 900 appears right here. Okay. The 900 appears right here, and so this is the 100 years of Olympic films. Now, this is huge because this sets forth a number of films dealing with the Olympic Games and then later the Summer Games and the Winter Games. So starting with Stockholm in 1912 and going all the way through on 32 discs through to London 2012. And so here we go. We have this set which is, as I say, very very good if you are, especially those who are into Olympic films, but even for those who aren't necessarily into Olympic films, this set is quite eye-opening. Now, it took me, I admit, it took me a long time to get through the all of these films, and even now I, I think I've seen many of the films only once, and so I am not, I haven't necessarily uh, I haven't necessarily uh, uh, formulated clearly my thoughts on the entirety of the films or the specific films themselves, but there are some films here that are uh, a little bit more well-known to me than others. Um, but the entire package, I should say, is quite brilliant. And so one of these days when I have formulated my thoughts on all of them more clearly, I'd like to talk about the set uh, with more detail in the specific films. Uh, this set does include, for instance, um, the uh, Tokyo Olympiad, Konichikawa's uh, documentary from the Tokyo Olympic Games of 1964. So uh, this is very interesting indeed. You have here the set itself, and the discs are uh, housed in these sleeves, which, um, I mean, I can talk about that in another video. So they're not necessarily housed in, like, plastic casings. So that might be something to consider if you're uh, thinking of the set. But um, it does come with this lovely book with its hardcover, and it does have pictures, and it talks about each of the films uh, accordingly. So uh, this set is uh, one of those surprising sets and the way it's cataloging all of the films or, or all the games that were covered from 1912, more or less from 1912, is quite star startling and amazing. And so yes, so I would strongly recommend getting this if you are interested in the 100 years uh, or Olympic Games in general. Um, also sports documentaries in general, uh, they had, they uh, form the basis of some really compelling drama, as you know. And also, it's the uh, we're getting closer to the Olympic Games, right? So now it's 2019, and 2020 will be the Summer Games, which will be held actually here in Tokyo. And so there is uh, uh, the Olympic spirit in the air. So if you're interested, you can get this set now uh, during the Barnes & Noble sale, if you're so inclined, and then watch the films uh, accordingly. 
uh, maybe in preparation or in, in anticipation for the upcoming summer games that'll be in 2020. So anyway, my friends, for your consideration, 100 years of Olympic films, spine number 900 for your consideration, and it's a brick. But speaking of bricks, um, this set here, this is the famous set. Now this is the classic, classic set, Ingmar Bergman cinema. This is the set that sets forth a number of the films directed by Ingmar Bergman, directed by Ingmar Bergman. Now, I have had the pleasure of talking about the set in a set of videos that I've put up on this channel in the past, so if you're interested, please you please have a look. But uh, this set is one that is still, for my money, quite remarkable. It's awe-inspiring, and it was amazing that the Criterion Collection was able to gather this information and put it all in this set, which is uh, remarkable. So the Ingmar Bergman cinema set, I would say, if it's uh, available to get under the 50% off sale at Barnes & Noble, oh gosh, I would recommend you getting it because it does provide all the films in one large package. So, yes, and there are a number of films, mind you, yes, there are a number of films that are available um, in individual releases in the Criterion Collection, but there are also a number of films that have not yet been released individually in the Criterion Collection, and so that's very interesting. Um, so if you're interested in watching those films as well, uh, you might be interested in getting this set. Again, if you're interested in details about this particular set, um, I might suggest going to that set of videos that I made um, last year about this particular set, the Bourbon Cinema Box set. So uh, you can find details about the specific films in here and also the order in which they're presented and also the supplements and also my other thoughts about that. If you're interested, I'll put a link somewhere uh, and you can click on it and take a look uh, if, you're, uh, figure, if you want to figure out if this indeed is a set that's worth purchasing because again, it is very expensive. So if you are gonna get it, it's probably the best time to get it uh, during the, a sale. So hopefully this is subject to the 50% off sale at Barnes & Noble, and if so, and if you can find it in stock, it might be worth considering. So uh, anyway, Ingmar Bergman's Cinema. All right, my friends, uh, let me end it there. So thank you very much for your time as always, and please enjoy the Barnes & Noble sale if you're able to. You know, I personally am not uh, directly uh, uh, I, I don't order through Barnes & Noble, and I live in Japan, so there's no Barnes & Noble here where I am, so I'm not necessarily able to directly participate in the sale, unfortunately. Although, I have mentioned that I will be traveling to uh, North America for a little trip in July, and so there will be a Barnes & Noble near my hotel, so I'll try to visit, and hopefully there might be some titles that I'm looking for, some of the more recent titles. So. Um, so I will try to keep making more videos uh, just featuring some titles in the Criterion Collection uh, in case you're interested. So uh, in any event, my friends, in the meantime, if uh, for those of you who are participating in the sale, please, I'd love to hear what you've gotten. And I know so many people have been uh, leaving comments already, and that's great. I will respond as soon as I can. Uh, but if you are uh, interested in sharing with us what you've purchased, please let me know. I'm so excited to hear what you've gotten and, and uh, the excitement that uh, I sense in your comments when you share with me. This is so wonderful. It makes my day so much, uh, so many times over. So oh, there's that. So thank you very much. And yes, for those of you who are uh, new subscribers, so thank you very much for joining. It's a real pleasure, and uh, please feel free to comment anytime. I always like to try to engage with people through the comments as much as I can because it's such a learning experience for me, and it's so fun to be able to meet new people. So uh, if you have an opportunity or a moment, please, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments uh, in the comment section below or in other videos. And then for those of you who are here for the first time uh, and you haven't subscribed, please uh, subscribe. It would be great to have you as a subscriber and uh, to 
to watch some videos here and to uh, leave comments so maybe you and I can uh, chat about films and cinema. That would be really great. I'd love that. So yes, if you're new here, please subscribe. And yes, uh, we can uh, go from there, my friends. And then for the rest of you, of course, uh, I hope you are happy and healthy and well. And all of you, of course, what am I saying? I hope all of you are happy and healthy and well. And please, my friends, my dear, dear friends uh, here and there and everywhere, please enjoy yourselves. Uh, please take good care of yourselves. And please, as always, keep on watching a lot of great, great movies. So until we meet again, my friends, cheers.